Hello, welcome to a cozy autumn sewing day. It is blowing a hoolie outside. The weather has definitely changed. So I thought it was time for a bit of cozy sewing goodness. I am making the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie dress using fabric from the classic Sew Hilly Jane box this month. It's a beautiful foresty green viscose, which is just gonna make the perfect autumn dress. Full disclaimer, you get two and a half meters in the box and I thought I was gonna be able to get the full dress out of two and a half meters if I did a bit of, you know, um, pattern Tetris. And it was going really well until I realized I needed to cut two of the center panel. So I did have to grab an extra bit of fabric from the outlet shop. So, but I was, my heart was set on the dress. I think, I do like the blouse version, I just don't think I would wear the blouse as much as I would wear the dress. So that's what I'm doing today. I have just made the teeny tiny little um, belt loop and I am just about to sew down at the back. Now let me show you the edge stitch foot. This is the edge stitch, edge stitch foot, that's pretty hard to say, which has this little like bumpy bit here and you can put your fabric up against the bump. Make sure you set your stitch width to zero to move the needle all the way over. So when you're doing tiny, eeny weeny little hems like this, you can use the edge stitch foot to keep it nice and close like so. So then you have this really lovely straight stitch all the way along the hem. For the button loop in half, so there's button loops there. Place it on the wrong side of the left hand back. That's right hand back. The top edge of the loop, 15 millimeters. I left my seam gauge at the iron. When this pattern first came out, I really wasn't too sure, but it was in our boxes because it is a beautiful pattern but I wasn't too sure about it on my body. Um, but I made it to just to sort of satisfy the curiosity. And at first I was a bit like, mm, I don't know. It's very boxy, it's very floaty. There's no shape to it. I am plus size, so it didn't like, you know, highlight any narrow bits of me, like my waist. But the more I wear it, the more I absolutely love it and like I can't actually get enough of it so yeah I decided it was time to give it another go I wanted to narrow the shoulders a little bit because it was a little bit wide on my shoulders and the other thing I did was lengthen it a little bit as well I cut a size 7 did I do I think I did a, oh no, a size 8 I think I cut a 7 at the hip at the these aren't hips at the shoulders and then graded out to an 8 I don't think that's super necessary because it has obviously so much ease but um, that's what I went for and paired with tight actually don't pair it with tights you guys it's a very short dress unless you are someone who can crouch rather than bending at the knees to pick up things off the floor I can't I highly recommend decent leggings and I'll like spend a little bit more money on some decent leggings, ones that don't show your pants when you bend over. Mine I got from Love Leggings and I absolutely adore them. They, I got some for winter which are like fleece lined as well. <sighs> Revelation. And then I got some slightly lighter ones for autumn and the sort of slightly, not quite wintry months. Absolutely love it. And it means that when you bend over, it doesn't stretch and show off your pants. So that's a winner. But this dress with leggings 
and boots. I bought some new boots this weekend. I went to Matalan and Matalan actually have some really good black like biker boots which are exactly what I was looking for so I was really pleased. Right I have pinned the shoulder seams at on the yoke pieces, sew them and then I need to do the shoulder seams on the side pieces so I need to figure out which ones they are. Top tip for you if you're sewing this pattern with the front panel and the side panels keep the pattern pieces on your fabric until you come to sew otherwise you won't know which one's which they're a bit tricky to spot so that's my little top tip um so yeah let's get these seams sewn i'm very excited to have a new autumn dress i am all about the floaty dresses this season the other good thing about this pattern is you can easily hide a long sleeve thermal underneath as well, um, which is always a good thing. But it does look quite nice with a chunky cardigan over the top as well. Here we have the side front panel, so I can take the pattern off now. <sighs> I love this time of year. It's perfect for getting cozy. I want to know, when you sew, do you prefer to sew in silence? Do you prefer some music, a podcast, a TV series or movie, or an audiobook? I have just started listening to an audiobook. I joined a book club. It feels like a very grown-up thing to do. Some of the mums at school that my daughter goes to have started a book club. Um, and I joined for the first time and read the first book last last week was the first session. Now, oh gosh, you guys, I overthought this far too much. I am really good now, fairly good, at talking to you guys on a camera. You wouldn't know, hopefully it doesn't come through, just how painfully shy I can be. And I was all geared up, sometimes I forget as well, I was all geared up for the book club until I realised that I was actually going to have to say something and talk. And when it came to me, my mind went completely blank and everyone went quiet and just looked at me and it was horrendous. So next time, next time I will, I might have to write some notes about my thoughts on the book. But I'm listening to, first ever audiobook I'm listening to is... The Light Between Oceans, um, which has actually been made into a movie, but I'm not gonna watch the movie until I have finished the book. Um, and yeah, so I'm when I'm not doing some filming, when I'm not chatting, I'm gonna pop that on and listen to that as well. But otherwise, I do enjoy a podcast sometimes. Sometimes I just like the quiet. But then it, it can get a bit lonely. I'm here on my own today, actually. Andy sometimes comes, actually, sometimes, most of the time, Andy's at the studio as well. That's his desk back there. Um, but because I was filming today, um, he decided to stay at home. So, yeah, it's very quiet. I feel like I need some snacks. I might have to pop to the shop. I do have lunch, leftover shepherd's pie, in case you're interested. Um, but I feel like I need some, some nibbles. So that's the next question. As well as your sewing entertainment, what do you have whilst you're sewing? Do you just have a cup of tea? I've already drunk one cup of tea. I'm going to have to go make another in a minute. Um, snacks, sweet, savoury. If I could get away with it, I would. I absolutely love, um... Tea, are they tea cakes? Tunnock's tea cakes. You know, the sort of biscuit with marshmallow covered in chocolate. I absolutely adore them. However, if there's no one here to share them with, I could very easily eat the entire packet in a day. And that probably isn't a great idea. Um, so maybe I'll get some like savoury snacks, like some nuts or something. Just some little nubbly thing would be nice. Right. I need to figure out what I'm doing here. That was, so this, I keep these here and this here and I need to figure out which way they need to go. Bear with me.
Right, I have figured out which piece goes with which piece and now I need to switch to the overlocker. I am sticking with the navy blue thread that is in the overlocker. I don't tend to swap the thread in my overlocker unless I'm swapping between a light or a dark colour. So I've got navy blue in there at the moment. This is like a dark foresty green. No one's going to see the insides. I really am not that bothered. Um, like I said, the only time I would swap is if I was using a light fabric and then I'd swap to like a cream or a white thread. So, time to swap to the overlocker. I'm going to go put the kettle on first and make another cup of tea. Right, we have the yoke pieces all done. The bias binding is all done. Now I've got to gather the front center panel and the back center panel to the yoke. So I've done my gathering stitches all wet already. I have already done my gathering stitches. So I'm going to gather that to that. The front center panel is shorter than the back center panel no it's not it's longer than the back center panel um so yeah time for some gathering i have been beavering away with this whilst listening to the light between oceans which is really good by the way if you haven't read it i do recommend i'm probably about just over halfway through now and yeah, very excited to see the movie as well. Um, talking of books and movies, I have read, I'm sure lots of you have probably heard because it's been a really big book this year or last year, uh, Lessons in Chemistry. And I don't know if it's going to be a TV series or a movie, but it's coming to Apple TV in a few weeks time, I think. Actually, I think it's in September. So I'm excited to see that because I loved that book. That was a really, really cool book. So I'm excited to see how they do that. Sometimes, as we all know, books, when they're turned into movies or TV series, can be a bit disappointing. But hopefully they'll be a good one. Um... Right, time to do some gathering and I will carry on listening to my story. It is the next day. I was hoping to get this finished yesterday, but that three o'clock school pickup comes around all too early. The weather yesterday was so rubbish as well, so I left extra early to try and get parked a bit closer to the school, but it seems everyone else had the same idea. But never mind, the sun has come out today. It's a beautiful sunny morning. So I did take my dress home to do some last night, but I couldn't do much because I didn't have my overlocker. Um, so I've got my sleeve piece here ready to go in and to save time I already hemmed the dress. Is that weird to hem the dress before even inserting the sleeves? I quite like doing it that way because hemming is my least favourite task so I like to get the hem done as soon as possible. Obviously, I know you should like try the dress on and level the hem and la 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 But I just can't be bothered. I don't have time for that. So Unless it's like really really obvious if it's like a circle skirt cut on the bias something like that Obviously, I would do that. But with this one I 
went a bit rogue and decided against it. So it's looking good. We've got the main bit of the dress all done. Like I said, the hem is already in. Um, so yeah, I just need to insert the sleeves and find a button for the button loop at the back as well. And then all done and I can get my dress on and I can show you and be all autumn. I feel like some kind of autumn woodland fairy in this dress, I think. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for. Right, cup of tea is brewing, so I'm gonna go and get my cup of tea and then crack on with the sleeves. It's finished! Ta-da! I definitely feel like some kind of autumn woodland fairy thing going on. I am really, really happy with this. I love it. It is, as you can see, very short, especially at the back, but we've styled it with boots. And I reckon, for like going out of the house, you know, not out out who am I pop a denim jacket maybe a different kind of jacket I'm not sure how do we feel about blue and green together I can't really see because you're so far away from there but some kind of jacket maybe maybe a long necklace or a chunky cardi over the top love it absolutely adore it so I chose a Ethel and Joan button for the back. I wasn't really sure, it took me a while to decide on the button, um, but I went for the Ethel and Joan one because it's kind of see-through, so it just kind of blends in anyway. It is very, very tight around my neck. I'm not sure why, I don't think my other one feels quite so tight. This one feels a bit tighter, but I'm glad I moved the shoulder seam. So the shoulder seam is there, and I moved it in by about a centimetre. Uh, which I think is just right. But yes, I love it. I have toyed around with the other one with putting a belt around the middle, which does work, but then I think you kind of lose the point of this dress. Do you know what I mean? I think you kind of lose it. But otherwise, I love it. It is absolutely not the kind of style that I have ever really gone for before because obviously it's very loose and gives no shape at all which is why i would wear it with leggings and why i didn't think i would go for the blouse version to wear with jeans because then it's like i feel like if you've got leggings and your sort of legs are slimmed down but yeah doing this a lot <laughs> um i was going to say something else but it's gone out of my head I just, yeah, I love it. It's not my usual style at all, but I feel really good in it. I feel very floaty. I feel very put together. I have put uh, just a little vest underneath because where you've got this seam here and then it gathers, if you've got big boobs like I do, the fabric kind of falls into your cleavage a little bit. So I put a vest underneath um, just to make it float over instead. Just a personal preference thing. Anyway, 
that is my cozy autumn sewing day i hope you have enjoyed give this video a thumbs up like subscribe all of those lovely things and i will see you all next week have a great day bye